with a why. You know why. Oh, no, come on, you can't. That's crazy. What's crazy? He's just ignoring how we feel. Uh, pie, when you're ready, please, love. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I shouldn't have snapped at you. No, you shouldn't. I'm not totally selfish. In fact, I was going to suggest that we maybe book a holiday, you know, cheer you up. Oh, I should never have said all that. Unless you meant it. Because if it's that that you've had enough, you know, of me, and you want to split up, I'd rather you just came out with it. No, no. No, absolutely not. Look, uh, this has got nothing to do with us. I, I'm just a bit stressed, that's all. Do you want another one, lads? I'm buying. Um, no, thanks. No. No, all right, thanks, mate. It's OK. I understand you felt guilty. No, it was more than that. I realised I'd made a mistake. I was lonely and feeling sorry for myself. And you were there being lovely. Look, OK, your husband's back. And... Yeah, exactly. And you're scared of telling him. I get that. No, you don't get it. I love him. So, how come you practically leapt into bed with me? I've just explained. I don't buy it. You're lying to yourself. Well, I know how I feel. I mean, I, I didn't then, but I do now. You're just saying that. What we have, it's real. Listen to me, right? What we have, it's in your head. I'm, I'm sorry if I put it there or, or reignited something or whatever, but I love Steve. I have no intention of leaving him. So, uh, what you're saying is you used me? I suppose I am. I'm hmm. sorry. I've given up everything for you. I never asked you to. You all right, ma'am? What can I get for you? Uh, nothing. Can you come home, love? What for? I need to talk to you. Oh, can't we talk here? No, no, we can't, please. It's important. You OK? Just come home, mate. I'm so sorry about the smell of paint. Please help yourself to tea. Thank you. And, uh, and biscuits. The talk should be starting soon, I hope. Just get some equipment. Uh, for the talk. And what does a stepladder have to do with first aid? Uh, common knowledge, innit? Most accidents happen in the home. Like falling off stepladders. Yeah, exactly. I was going to demonstrate how you place them safely, aren't I? And the scissors? Uh, for uh, cutting bandages. Oh, you brought bandages. No, but they can, like, imagine them. I see. So, uh, Zidane is going to pretend to fall up the stepladder, and then we can all pretend to cut up imaginary bandages. Yes? Something like that. <laughs> I can't wait. Uh, you might want to wipe that lipstick off your neck first. Or is it imaginary blood? <sighs> Come on then, Mum. What's happened? I've, um... I've just had a visit from the police. It's about your dad. Oh, what's he done now? Not more knocked off stuff, is it? It's nothing like that. I don't know how to tell you this, Jase. Your dad's dead. found him yesterday. He hadn't turned up for work, so I sent someone round to check on him. How? I mean, what happened? 
I don't know. I think it might have been a heart attack, but they... They're gonna have to do a post-mortem. I'm so, so sorry. It's such a shock. I can't believe it myself. Have you finished them cupboards? Yeah. Oh, okie dokie. You better have your money then. Right, there you go. Uh, listen, why don't you stop for your tea? I'd love to. Ah. But I can't, I'm in demand. Uh, yeah, so I see. I better go. There you go. Uh, Alex. Hug. Hug. <laughs> listen, okay, you better take care of yourself, okay? You hear? And remember. You don't need a drink to enjoy yourself. If you say so. I do. <sighs> Mate, I'm... I'm so sorry. When did it happen? Yesterday. Well, that's when they found him. What do you mean, that's when they found him? Nothing. Mom, when did he die? They hadn't heard from him for three days. I'm so sorry. You, you didn't need to know that. I did. Mate, you, you don't want to be dwelling on all that now. You want to be remembering the good times, yeah? Who's in Manchester, you know? Yeah, Mum said. I left a message asking if we could meet up. I never got round to it. I just thought, oh, you know, I'll call him back later and. I forgot. I get it, I get it. We're a bit busy right now. Come on. Pat, come, come through. There he is, the man in a moment. Let's continue the celebrations. Um, Jason's had some really bad news. He's just found out that his dad's died. God, I'm sorry, that's terrible. So if there's anything... Look, I just want to be on my own. I'm, uh, I'm going to go upstairs. Talk about putting your foot in it. I did try and warn you. Don't be daft. It's not your fault. He's just taking it hard. That ghost won't even have sunk in yet, the poor kid. How are you doing? This must be hard on you. It's been a bit of a shock. Well, come here. You didn't, did you? Not with Will? No, I didn't. But I nearly did. And yes, I know you warned me. Well, fuck, then there's no harm done, is there? Oh, do you reckon? Well, Will has gone and split up with Saskia. He? Yeah, he was in here about half an hour ago, proclaiming his undying love. <sighs> I told him he was being ridiculous and that I love Steve. Well, <sighs> I do feel a bit bad. I mean, I did kind of mess him about a bit. Hey, look, you've been going through a difficult time. And Steve has been gone so long. Yeah, well, he's not played away, has he? And all right, nothing happened. But I was really tempted, Carla. <sighs> a heart attack, though. I mean, he wasn't old enough. Three years younger than me, it makes you think, doesn't it? Yeah, we drank a fair bit. Maybe it was that. Thank you. How's Jace taking it? Hardly said a word. Yeah, it takes a while to sink in. Yeah, it's what Pat said. <sighs> Amongst other clichés. Not now, please. Sorry. What if it was a mistake? What if it isn't him? Oh, of course it's him, Jay. How do you know that? Because it was one of his workmates that found him. Well, they might have barely known him. It was in his flat. Uh, it could have been one of his mates. My dad might have been away. Jason. But I'm sure the police would have checked all that. How do you know that? Well, they showed me his wallet. It had his driving licence, and he wouldn't go anywhere without that. Why don't you sit down? Yeah, come on, you need to eat something. Just, no, just... I don't want to eat anything. I want to see me dad. I know, Jay. No, Mum. I need to see his body, OK? I need to know for sure it's him. Where is he? It's at the hospital. Well, go tomorrow, Chase, yeah? No, I need to go now. Todd's right. You should wait. No, I'm going now! Right. Right, well, then I'm I'm going to come with you. We'll get a taxi. I'll drive you, but no, I don't no, want... No, we'll, we'll be fine, thank you. Look, Pat, this is not really your place, you know? It's a family matter. In fact, you may as well go. Oh, I think I'll hang around. I'd like to be here for when Harling gets back. Look, 
Look, Michelle, Steve's back, okay? Will's gone. It's time to get this out of your head. I can't. I feel terrible. Oh, I'm gonna be so stupid. This sort of thing does not happen to me. Oh. You mean it only happens to flighty bits like yours, truly? This is different. Yes, it is, because you managed to stop yourself. It doesn't stop me feeling guilty. Yeah, well, sometimes you just have to learn to live with it. I'm not saying it's easy, but, you know, most of the time I hate myself. So then, isn't it better just to tell him? And risk losing him? No. No, I'd rather live with the guilt. I'm not sure I can. Come on, Michelle, it's not even as if you did the deed, is it? I know, but I want us to be honest with each other. No secrets. I mean, that sort of thing can destroy a marriage. Yes, well, so can being honest. You know, sometimes, if you love someone, it's better not to tell them certain things, especially if those certain things didn't really matter. But it does matter. It matters to me. Michelle, don't go there. Trust me, please. All right. Ah, about time, where have you been? Been doing my wind around. Well, listen, I need 100% commitment from you. Says the absentee partner. You've got two jobs. Well, you're here now, I suppose. Flipping hour, I've been sat here. Eileen's had some family crisis or something. So, can you uh, take over? I'll just have a sit down first. My feet are killing me. Ooh. Well, you can sit here. Well, it's not the same, though, is it? This chair's much more comfy. Well, at least pop the kettle on. <clears throat> Yoink! Ah, oh, come on! Hey, listen! Senior partner gets first dibs on the comfy chair. Hey, we're equal partners. Yes, but you're a newbie. So you can sit here when I'm not here. We could get one of them two-seaters. Listen, I like you, but not that much. <laughs> so, how's everything gone in my absence? All right. Getting to grips with everything? Yeah, I didn't have much option with Eileen on my back. Uh, you see, I knew I'd left it in safe hands. Oh, cheers, mate. Eileen's, I mean. But um, taking Tyrone on was a good call because he is going to be very, very reliable. Yes, well, that was my first executive decision. Well, second, if you count the lemon puffs. Lemon... I used to love those when I was mm. in Ipper. I haven't had one of those for ages. Be my guest. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what? I think me and you are going to get on just fine. Is it right that Sally's a counsellor? Yeah, but the less said about that, the better. Mm. Like that, is it? Mm. She's got me into recycling. So Michelle must be glad that you're back. Well, hard to tell, really. How do you mean? Well, she's just acting a bit odd. Well, maybe she's got used to you being away. Maybe she prefers it. Give over. Well, of course she's glad to have you back, so am I. It's not the same going in the Rovers when the barmaid looks like she's going to cry in your pint. Was she that bad? Oh, I've never seen her look so miserable. The big brown eyes filling up with tears. She started to remind me of Bambi. Well, Bambi's girlfriend, whatever she'll call. Listen, cancel that broom. I am going to book a table for my gorgeous wife for a meal out and buy the biggest bunch of flowers I can find. Good lad. Mm. Oh, thank you for coming. Thank you so much. Thanks. See you soon. You know what? I actually quite enjoyed that. Ah, oh, we're talking about the course of the cupboard. Sorry. Don't worry, I'm only teasing. When Sharif and I were young, we were desperate to get some time alone. We once got caught canoodling in a telephone box. <laughs> What's that face for? You're my grand. Doesn't mean I don't have a sex life. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. It's OK. Your grand's cool. So, where were we? Hmm. Of course, we could get to a bit more than just kissing if we go back to yours. Oh, don't tell me. I don't want to tempt you. I really like you, Rana. Yeah, I like you too. I respect you too much for that. Most blokes would jump at it. 
Yeah, well, I'm not most blokes. And you're not most girls. You're special. Besides, I've got to get back to work. Well, you don't know what you're missing. Hiya. Hi. Um, where's Steve? Oh, he's had to pop out. Oh, right. Um, will he be long? Well, it's hard to tell, to be honest. You can wait if you want. No, no, it's all right. Um, when he gets back, can you tell him to come home, please? I, I need to talk to him. I yeah, will do. Thanks. Come and sit down, love. So it was him. I put your sandwiches in the fridge. You want me to get them? I'm not really hungry, love. Jace. Bit later on, eh? Suppose I ought to tell Liz. Liz. What's got to do with Liz? Well, she did go out with him for quite a while. Yeah, until so she kicked him into touch. Oh, Jace, that's not. Joe, I've had enough for this. He's not angry at you, he's, he's just hitting it out. I know. <sighs> right, I, I, I think I'm gonna get off. I'll just give you all some peace. I'll walk you home. But if there's anything I can do, anything at all, just ask, okay? Well, thank you. All right. Todd, I bet your mum could do with a copper. Why don't you put the kettle on? Sorry for sulking. Sorry for snapping. Life's too short to be wasting it for now. Yep. Brings it home though, doesn't it? I suppose you're used to dealing with it though, aren't you? Uh, pretty much. You never get used to it though. You did really well with Eileen. I'm proud of you. I don't tell you that enough. It's all right, you can answer it. I don't mind. You know what? You can wait. Oh. Get your glad rags on because I have booked a table at that sushi restaurant you've been going on about. You see, this is how much I love you. I'm prepared to eat raw fish. What's the matter? Tim said you wanted to talk to me. What's up? Come sit down, eh? When, when you were away. You I was so lonely. I mean, I know we talked, but... You weren't here, Steve. And I needed you. Well, I, I didn't realise it then, you know. I thought you were fine. You're always so practical and calm. You're not a wimp like me, so I thought you were all right. Well, I wasn't. I wasn't. Oh, I just wish you'd been here. So, so do I. I am so lucky to have you. The way you have stuck by me through everything. <laughs> Look, you're not going to leave me, are you? I mean, I won't blame you if you did. Of course but... I'm not going to leave you. Oh, God, because I flipping love you. I really, really, really love you. And what was it you wanted to tell me? Nothing. Just what I've said, really. I'm forgiven. Of course you're forgiven. Come in. Mum, I could always stop over, you know. I'll be staying anyway. If that's OK, love. Yeah, I'd like that. Oh, you don't feel you have to hang around. Yeah, you, you get off, love. You've, you've been great. You can see yourself, OK? Yeah. OK, well, I'll call in tomorrow, OK? Thanks. Love you, Mum. He's a good lad, really. 
Yeah, they both are. You should be very proud of them. You must have known Tony a long time. Since he was 17. He's always up to something. Knocking something off or playing away. <laughs> Could never really trust him. Didn't stop you wanting to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Some men are like that. I'm gonna miss him. Even though it annoys me to admit it. Just seeing him lying there. All that swagger of his gone, just drained away. Oh, Jace, um, can I get your cuppa? Do you know what? If it wasn't for Liz, my dad would have never left in the first place. I know, love. He'd have been here with his family when he had his heart attack. Could have saved him, instead of him dying all alone. Don't know that, love. And I still think we should tell Liz. Oh, don't worry. I'll tell her all right. Chase. My dad would still be alive if it wasn't for her. This is all her fault. Coming up, what is Cullen capable of? All new Marcella continues next. And over on ITV2, Peter's out to protect the neighbours. What could possibly go wrong? There's all new Family Guy. <laughs> 